Well, this extreme heat also caused lots of issues when we talk about Oregon's infrastructure from buckling roads to the Portland streetcar having to stop service. And the Max 2, our Liz Birch is live at a road undergoing construction right now. So Liz, what happened there? Dan, we're here on North Denver, but they have two blocks still closed right now. Construction crews were out here earlier. We saw them working on the road. Peabot tells me it buckled because of this extreme heat, and I can tell you it really feels hot out here. We can certainly feel the sun beating down on this concrete. A road in Yamhill County also buckled. That one on Sunday night, a couple living nearby said they felt a massive tremor when that happened, and the triple digits also shut down some Portland public transportation. The streetcar had to shut down their service, which they they say was done out of consideration for the safety of their passengers and employees. We had a number of issues around the alignment and the heat, extreme heat, uh, power substations going down, a uh, cable issue on the Broadway Bridge, uh, which is a over 100 year old piece of infrastructure, uh, a dry tree limb coming down across the wires. So on Sunday afternoon, we made the decision to cancel service. Uh, mostly we didn't want to leave riders stranded in the heat if they were to try to travel somewhere and have the uh, power system go down. We did see the streetcar back up and running today. They say it's very rare that they have to close it. Coming up at 5 o'clock, I asked Peabot if our infrastructure is really prepared for these record-breaking temperatures. Back to you.